you guys welcome back to the channel today video is going to be about soft topper going on the 2018 Toyota Tundra and I'm going to try to make this video faster than my normal videos and get right down to it so this is how it comes uh, it's box is about five feet high uh, comes shipped UPS it does state right on the side of the box don't open this thing with a sharp object so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the bed and let's see what's in here Okay, so you unfold that box. It's actually separated into two boxes. One box has the canvas shell, one box has the frame. You get everything out of the box. It comes, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is the, obviously the upper frame supports. These are bed rails that go together uh, incrementally. I'll show you those in a second. And then this is the canopy um, main support that kind of folds down when you want to fold it back. Uh, in the box, it comes with, if you've ever put on one of those, um, fiberglass tonneau shells same type of a clip a clamp and this these clamps are actually specifically designed for the fast track system on the tundra i think that's what it's called uh you got some screws here some uh, velcro pieces seam sealer for the seams on the canvas top if you want to be 100 percent waterproof you apply that after uh and then a uh, little thank you message so let's start installing this thing first thing you're gonna do is throw these rails up on the top they come with sticky paper uh, that's on the weather stripping. You just pull the paper off, stick it down, and these are two piece. So this one's put together already. I'm going to show you on this side what you do. Simple. Just take the front one, lays up here. This got this little telescopic piece in here. This is going to slide in, and I'm not going to do it with one hand. But you just push these two together, and this little pin that pops up and down will pop in here like that. Next thing you're going to do is find these. This marked A, that one's marked B, A is the driver side, these are going to lay up right here, and these are adjustable, they'll go back and forth, don't be a hero and use a screw gun, use a regular Phillips. Yeah, I'm leaving mine loose here so I can actually make the adjustment when you get to this stage. This step I'm going to note, I want you to leave the bed rail half inch from the front up here, so if you come over here, here's your uh, area here you can adjust these back and forth but you know for good measure don't bring it all the way forward don't bring it back kind of align it with your your metal frame in here this will get adjusted later what do you think these i know this part will kind of confuse some people so i'm going to show it to you the way these rails are held on on this is actually used as a clamp method and if you got the utility tracks on your truck then you're going to use it in this configuration here where this the the base of the clamp goes in there the top of the clamp will go over the top of the bar like that. They do a good job of showing you on the description here. Uh, if you're running a regular without the utility track, use it this way. Utility clamp, use it that way. But this uses two clamps per side, similar to a, a fiberglass tiny shell actually uses three. This uses two. So I'm going to go ahead and get these loosely fit on here, and then you're going to need a uh, socket to put that in. I'll tell you what size it is here in a second. So this is what it'll look like. I just hand tighten mine again for now. I'm going to use a 9 16 to tighten them down, but those are just hand tight for now because I want to make sure that they're in the right spot before we go any farther with the top part. Next, you're going to join up these two little folding frames, one here and one here. This one actually has color coding on it. So you're going to match up the little dot with the color coded dots on here. So these are going to pop onto here, just like the bed rails did with this little um, detent pin. So let me put these together. Halfway done, this is, it looks something like this. I just used the back of my truck to do this. And you can see here the color. I don't know if that'll focus. Eh, it's color to color. That's red, blue, green, down the road there. So I'm going to put the other piece on now. There you go. That's the best angle I could get for you there. There it is all put together. And now it's going to get laid up on those pins in the center. So, Okay, you roll these little circular safety pieces out of these pins first. Like that. It's like a key ring. So you jump into the bed. You slide the um, little piece that you just assembled onto the pins. And the red dot, which is over here that faces the front of the truck so that's the the biggest thing to take away so you're gonna have to jump up in your bed and drop those in there and then this should if i hold the camera right 
fan out like that and break your back window and uh, that's the frame <laughs> no it didn't break it damn yeah be careful of that that would be bad all right i'm gonna do my best to explain this as i as easy as i can here it's a little bit weird but once you open up the uh canvas cover it's gonna have two window sides one is the front window you look through here one's the rear window you can tell it's the rear window because it has a soft topper logo on it so what you want to do is have this folded backward and you're basically going to take this and drape it up underneath and grab this the lowermost bar upside down i'll try to show it to you here this way to show you here this is the rear window side and you basically you, know, you just kind of take it and fold it up and under and get it on these first set of snaps in here there so hopefully that'll help you there all right here's going to be the best way for me to show you how to do this part so you're going to kind of fan this up stand on your tailgate and take the front window piece and run it inside of the first rung and it's going to come up and over and it's going to snap on these snaps here so let me do that now and i'll show you what i mean so you can kind of see here see how you see the bars on the inside of the bed here folds up and over and it snaps onto here just like that nice easy snaps no bullshit goes right on and you just go all the way down the line here like that and so once you got it all snapped you can kind of test it by rolling it up like this Kind of see there it goes up Just hold that down so i'll give you a better view i'm only on my iphone here so yeah it's going together nice all right here's a better view of it i just jumped down off the truck all we did was the front snaps the front snaps and the back snaps and you can kind of see now how it's kind of taken shape so everything is still loose right now all the clamps are loose and everything and that makes it for being able to actually fit it uh better so with all the sides folded down, I went on ahead and snapped it all in. Kind of a loose fit. You get a good idea of uh, how it's going to lay on. It's really nice. I have to say that this canvas, I, I would say, is superior to what I have on my current uh, Best Top Super Top. Uh, it seems to be much more thick and durable. I know Best Top owns Soft Topper now, so maybe they stepped up their game on their Super Tops, but this stuff is nice. So, what I'm going to do now. Go back around, cinch down all the clamps with a 9 16 all the way around, make sure everything's nice and even, and then we're gonna finish up the uh, uh, crossbar tailgate window installation. Okay, here we are on the inside, and I'm just doing the safety straps in here. I wanna show you a quick tip. To get this window nice and tight, if you don't wanna put the snaps in, I'm going to put my snaps in, but if you got the utility track, take a utility track off, slide it out, loosen it up, and slide it back on and drape the inside canvas piece through it and you can get it real nice and snug get a good pull on it and then as you're pulling it tighten it down here and here and then it'll keep the window nice and taut here so it looks nice and nice and clear here so that's a little tip so what i'm doing now is like i said tightening up these just tighten down all these that's a 9 16 don't go crazy this stuff is white metal and it'll snap if you go too hard so you're just trying to keep this keep a good clamp on here so it's a little pro tip for you you just slide the longer bar that came in the kit through this little area here and then add these short little bars in here and that's what we'll retain onto the retainers back here okay so what I'm doing now is just doing some micro adjustments have everything on got it folded up into uh, roof only mode and what I'm going to do now is just I've loosened these up and I'm moving these rails back a little bit because I noticed when everything was snapped down, I had a little bit of um, a bunching happening up in here. So just a little bit of adjustment. You can slide everything back and forth as long as you loosen up your, uh, your tensioners here. So there's a good shot of it when it has the sides folded up. This thing is really sturdy. One of the last little steps you're gonna wanna do here is set these smaller bars into this larger bar and they supply the self-tapping Phillips head screws to do so and each of on each side of the longer bar it's already pre-drilled so what you want to do is is kind of lay it out loose um, and make sure everything is snapped in and appropriately sized left to right and then just go in and run your Phillips head screws in here and that acts as a set screw 
for the telescoping, uh, I guess you can, it's not really telescoping, but this kind of universal bar. This way the little inside bars don't get lost inside of the main bar and you have to fish them out. So that's just one little tip there. Okay, last little thing here on the installation is just to tighten up the little uh, plastic brackets that you mounted that hold the crossbar in once you get this adjusted. Uh, but first what I'm gonna do is, the kit comes with Velcro strips, which I will show you here. These strips are uh, self-sticking, nothing too invasive for your truck. And what they do is they stick onto this part of the tailgate. Now my tailgate's already kind of messed up right here. This is how it was when I bought it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add mine to it because what it's gonna do is prevent the flapping action that's gonna happen when you drive down the road. It'll also make sure that the window is nice and taut like that. So it'll, it'll be a much cleaner installation. So it looks like they give you one, two, three, four, there's, yeah, there's four pieces in there. So four pieces spread across the back of the tailgate evenly. And this two-sided tape is just like a decal. If you've ever popped an emblem or anything off, they're easy to come off if you ever need to take them off. All installed. Uh, they give you five strips, actually, so it's continuous all the way across the tailgate. If you've got a black truck, you can't really notice it. There it is. Completely installed, tensioned, and secure. So I want to do a couple of overview shots of it. I don't think there's a lot of pictures of these on Tundras. I mean, at least when I was trying to find them. Uh, maybe on Instagram. But that's the, uh, the whole look of it there. I think it really, it complements the Tundra, I think, very well. It's got a very good um, body line at the top. So, got some, some visitors here. So yeah, I'll take a, a walk around it here so you can see it. Remember to uh, like this video if it helped you. And if you're on the fence about it, I would definitely suggest getting it. It is durable. I'm pretty rough with stuff, and this seems to be like it's gonna take a beating. So there's the back there. Fits very well. It's a little bunched in here, um, but that should even itself out over time. Good shot of the canvas there. Don't mind the dog, he's trying to kill a squirrel. So he's very busy. Jeez, right? What are you doing, buddy? Did you get him? So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, definitely thumbs up if you like dogs, especially ones that want to hunt squirrels. So, <laughs> so. Anyways, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll stop talking. Later.